American 11. Are you trying to call? The cops is not answering their phone. Our number one is in staff and our five is in staff. Hey, I'm going to call from Washington. I have a situation with American 11, a possible hijack. What's going on, Benny? The crap is erratic again. Problem, you're erratic. Oh, God. Oh, my God. United 175, New York. We have some problems over here right now. We might have a hijack over here, two of them. Yo, this is Ryan. Uh, listen, on an airplane, that's been hijacked. And things don't go well. It's not looking good. I just want you to know I absolutely love you. I want you to do good. So happy to find uh, things to my parents and everybody. And I just totally love you. And uh, I'll see you in the future. Hi, what are those people going to do? All, all the elevators are blocked out. Oh my god, so both towers are now. Okay, I got an aircraft that's out east of the White House. Crystal City, just north of Crystal City. Just to the north of your town. Yeah, stop all the parkers. The United 93, that traffic for you is 1 o'clock, 12 miles eastbound, 370. Negative contact, we're looking at United 93. United 93, Cleveland, if you hear the center right then. I got that piece of dark. Keep remaining to the Tuesday, 9.47 a.m. Hi, baby. I'm, baby, you have to listen to me carefully. I'm on a plane that's been hijacked. I'm on the plane. I'm calling from the plane. I want to tell you I love you. Please tell my children that I love them very much. And I'm so sorry, babe. I hope to be able to see your face again, baby. I love you. Bye. We're 56865. We have, a, I believe it is a uh, Boeing 757. Can you see him up there, sir? That's concerned. Uh, it looks like he's rocking his wings. Roger. He's rocking back and forth. We're 56865. I advise you stay away from that aircraft. Go north as fast as you can. United 93. Have you got information on that yet? Yeah, he's down. He's down? Yes. When did he land? He did not land. Are we down? Yes, yeah, somewhere up northeast of Camp David. Sean, it's me. I just want to let you know I love you. And I'm stuck in this building in New York. There's lots of smoke, and we just wanted you to know that I love you always. At number two, we're all close to the right. The lady has seen us in the back, and we're not ready to die, but it's getting bad. Oh, God! Oh, God! I'm going to die, aren't I? No, 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 no. Say I'm going to die. Ma'am, 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 say your prayers. Stop. We're going to think positive because you got to help each other get off the floor. I'm going to die. No. <laughs> it's a new type of war. That's what it is. Hello, Cleveland. This is Ryan.
The Bible says that God is a God of comfort who comforts us in times of trouble, no matter how hard we try. Words can simply not express the horror and shock and the revulsion that we all felt on that Tuesday morning, September the 11th. It will go down in history as one of the most horrific events in all of our human history. The Bible's words are words of hope. God is our refuge and strength and an ever-present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we do not fear though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. But how do we understand something like this? Why does God allow evil like this to take place? Perhaps that is what you're asking now, or you may even be angry at God. I want to assure you that God understands these feelings that you may have. We've seen so much on our television and heard on our radio stories that bring tears to our eyes and make us all feel a sense of anger. But God can be trusted even when life seems at its very darkest moments. But what are some of the lessons that we can learn first? Well, we can learn that and be reminded of the mystery of the reality of evil. I've been asked hundreds of times in my life why God allows tragedy and suffering And I have to confess that I really don't know the answer totally, even to my own satisfaction. I have to accept by faith that God is sovereign and that God is a God of love and mercy and compassion. Even in the midst of suffering, the Bible tells us that God is not the author of evil. It speaks of evil as a mystery. In 1 Thessalonians 2, 7, it talks about the mystery of iniquity. The Old Testament prophet Jeremiah said that the heart is deceitful above all things and it's beyond cure. Who can understand it? He asked that question, who can understand it? And that's one reason we each need God in our lives. The lesson at this event is not only about the mystery of iniquity and evil, But secondly, it's also a lesson about our need for each other. What an example New York and Washington were to the world in those days. None of us will ever forget the pictures of our courageous firefighters and police, many of whom lost friends and colleagues, or the hundreds of people attending, standing patiently in line to donate blood. A tragedy like this could have torn our country apart, but instead it united us in some very positive ways, but it also united us against neighbors that we didn't even know so well. Please know that our Creator loves all of His creation and all living things and all people, those who look like us and those who do not. Of all the lessons to learn from such a horrible event, Hopefully that we have learned something of the threads that bind us all together in this multicolored tapestry, this multifaceted gem, and this multicultural country of ours. It is a gift that we all live in such a time of technology and resource that we can work together to find common ground to build a more peaceful and sustainable life together. I urge you, please take a look into some of the resources that we're providing today and spend some time looking into ways to live more positively with one another, that we can all leave a better world and a better place of understanding and tolerance for our children and for all. At Soul Work, we believe spirituality is about our relationship with God and how that relationship can grow and bring about change in our own way of living. We provide aid and resources for the spiritual journeys of individuals and groups. Our programming includes public and private worship, study, creative expressions of the inner self, and time and space for reflection and renewal. We emphasize music, poetry, and the visual arts as spiritual practices. Spend some time today and look at your neighbors, all of your neighbors, 
and find ways to be positive and impact the world for good.
bread on the table Here is the blood Poured out in love Fill this cup Raise it up Here's to the day Time draws a line Down innocent faces Years mark the dreams That fail to come home So you say goodbye Say goodnight And here's to the day Remember And can you say it for the ones Whose voices are silenced Can you say it for the ones Who've never been Can you pray for peace, ache for peace, here's to the day that's coming, God speed the day. Gather in clouds now, cling to each other, sing to the night. You don't sing along and fill this car, raise it up. Here's to the day.